um, joining in this uh, FRCS Viva teaching session on male LUTS. We will try to do at least three scenarios today. Every scenario will be exactly 10 minutes in duration. And uh, we have some um, observers in the background. They may join us after the three scenarios to discuss any questions if they have. Your time starts now. Yeah. You have a 71 year old gentleman presenting with uh, symptoms of weakness in passing urine, urgency and also getting up at least three times in the night to empty the bladder which is quite disturbing to him. How will you evaluate him? Uh, I will invite this patient uh, to a routine uh, LUTS uh, clinic. Uh, prior to the clinic, I will uh, ensure that he has filled an IPSS questionnaire and a bladder diary, ideally for three days prior to arrival. And on arrival with full bladder, I will ensure that he had a free flow, postvoid residual and urine analysis. Um, I will uh, ask uh, about his symptoms, onset and duration, try to evaluate uh, and differentiate between a storage voiding or mixed uh, LUTs, assess for any red flags such as uh, recurrent UTIs, visible hematuria, dysuria or weight loss, and uh, ask about his bowel symptoms, uh, his fluid intake, including uh, caffeine drinks, uh, ask about if he had any previous pelvic surgery or pelvic radiotherapy, any medication um, uh, in particular to uh, his lower tract symptoms tried previously by his GP. Notice comorbidities, including diabetes, uh, uh, multiple sclerosis or Parkinson, and notice drug history, including allergy and anticoagulants in view of his future management. I'll perform a, a chaperone physical examination uh, focusing on his height and weight and BMI, uh, external genitalia for metal stenosis or phimosis, and perform a, a digital rate examination, note his process size of consistency or any signs of malignancy, and perform a neurological examination and lower limb edema if it's suggested from the history. It depends on the history examination, I will arrange for further tests. You mentioned about the Parkinson's disease. What is the importance of it? Uh, in Parkinson's disease can cause uh, an, uh, um, uh, the neuropathic uh, 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 bladder type symptoms, which can uh, affect the presentation of this uh, gentleman. Uh, uh, symptoms uh, can also cause uh, um, affect the detrusor in, in which detrusor overactivity uh, 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 in, in, in a way of, 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 of um, uh, flagging up his storage symptoms predominantly. Okay. Um, you are examining him. He is quite fit otherwise. Abdominal and external genitalia examinations were non-contributory. Digital rectal examination shows 40 cc prostate, smooth bilobar, no focal neurological deficits. How are you going to take this forward? Um, once I note uh, his urine analysis free flow and IPSS score, I will note if he had any uh, recent uh, up-to-date uh, user needs testing that has not been performed. I will ensure that has been sent off as a baseline. I will counsel him about uh, PSA testing uh, if, um, uh, uh, as suggested by the NICE guidelines 2015 in a, in a, in a man uh, over 50 with the LUTs uh, should be benefit or counseled about PSA testing. And uh, from, from this information, I will counsel him about uh, future management options. His IPS score is 28 out of 35 with QOL of 5. You mentioned about UNEs. What is the importance of it? Uh, the UNEs, um, uh, in, if, if suggested from the history, he uh, is likely to have uh, high pressure retention. A baseline uh, user needs will give us the, the indication of his kidney function and uh, subsequently after managing of, of that, we will uh, monitor his progress. Okay. So it will give us a clue if, if, his, if there is an, any evidence of high pressure chronic retention. And regarding PSA, what is the importance in this scenario? Um, as suggested by the NICE guidelines, sometimes uh, lower tract symptoms can be an, an early symptom of underlying uh, or coexisting prostate cancer. Uh, so it's good to, to, to have a baseline 
for PSA reading, and also uh, from the uh, uh, OMSET counter study, PSA of greater than 1.4 is can be taken as a predictor of progression of his uh, lower tract symptoms. Okay, this gentleman's PSA is 0 0.9. His flow rate showed a peak flow of 9 ml per second with uh, obstructed pattern. His water volume is 380 ml with residual urine of 120 ml. What do you infer from this? Uh, sorry, what is Q max again? 8. 8, okay. So uh, from his IPS test score and Q max, uh, he will fall in into the severely symptomatic group. Uh, with uh, poor quality of life. His QMAX suggests if he is uh, obstructed uh, likelihood of 90%. Uh, Therefore, I will counsel him about the management options uh, of his symptoms. I will start with the conservative management uh, aided by the bowel information uh, uh, leaflet. I will uh, counsel him about lifestyle modification. Does include fluid modification, decreased caffeinated drinks, uh, timed voiding and ensure bladder emptying. Um, uh, and also if there is uh, any risk factors such as uh, smoking or uh, high BMI, uh, weight loss strategies can help with that. Um, what fluid modifications you're going to tell him? Uh, fluid modification does include is, is uh, maintain hydration, try to, to do not um, uh, overhydrate more than uh, the two liters a day and ensure um, uh, to, to, to minimize uh, fluid intake near bedtime and ensure time voiding at least th uh, three to four hours uh, interval and ensure blood emptying, especially before bedtime, to help with his night symptoms. What is the importance of uh, stopping the caffeinated drinks? Uh, caffeinated uh, drinks uh, thought to um, uh, influence uh, the storage predominantly symptoms, so decreased caffeinated uh, drinks will help uh, to eliminate or, or improve that part of his lower tract symptoms. Okay, what is the role of urodynamics in these patients? Um, uh, urodynamics, um, th there are some indications uh, are suggested by the NICE guidelines. Uh, these indications fall in, into um, uh, extreme age greater than uh, 8 or less than 50 or there is any underlying ne ne neurological symptoms if inadequate uh, uh, voiding of uh, uh, 150 mils or post-void residual greater than 100 or Qmax uh, greater than 12 with predominantly voiding symptoms but we know from the upstream studies uh, from uh, uh, Marcus Drake group they found that uh, uh, the routine surgical pathway is not inferior to performing uh, urodynamics and the surgical outcomes are not inferior to uh, the urodynamics group in that study. So will you do urodynamics for our patient? Uh, not necessarily, unless if um, if you will help me to, 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 to with my counseling, but um, I would not routinely do urodynamics for him. Okay. Just for the sake of theoretical discussion, what important uh, parameters you will look in the urodynamic study? Uh, important uh, parameters, I will look at the functional uh, uh, bladder capacity, systematic bladder capacity. I will look for stability of the through the pressure, uh, any presence of the through the activity, any leak, and I will also uh, leak, I mean, during, uh, during Vazelva, um, and it's bladder outflow uh, index or the buoy index. Uh, I will expect it to be uh, greater than 40 if he is obstructed. What is the formula to calculate the bladder outlet obstruction index? That's a uh, uh, P that uh, Q max minus 2 Q max uh, greater than 40 is obstructed, less than 20 is uh, normal, uh, between 20 and 40 is equivocal. The graph in the y axis is the P that in the x axis is the Q max. Okay. Um, any other index you are aware of? Um, we're also of the bladder contractility index, and, and that will determine if uh, there is uh, three uh, uh, three parameters: if it's a strong contractility, normal contractility, or under contractility, and it's counted as uh, p at Qmax minus five uh, Qmax. 
uh, it's uh, bit, uh, zero to uh, uh, zero, uh, under 100, between 100 and 150, and greater than 150. Uh, which is good? Uh, uh, um, uh, great, uh, less than uh, uh, 100 is under contractility, over uh, 150 strong contractility, between 100 and 150, that's a uh, normal contractility. Okay. So this patient doesn't require the um, aerodynamics, as you said. Now it's 10 minutes, so we will stop here. Good. Good uh, initial starting session. I have no concerns at all. Nice presentation. Good preparation of the initial opening gambit, short and speed. Covered everything. I was very particular to see whether you are including the anticoagulants and medical comorbidities. You have done everything. You are able to pick from the IPS score and everything. There is only two things I need to mention. The yeah. first one is the UNEs and bloods are needed only in a very, very specific scenarios. Um, <clears throat> can you recollect if possible? Uh, UNEs, if, if there is um, history to suggest or uh, from the history of the symptoms suggestive, uh, of uh, uh, chronic retention is likely for high pressure retention. I think uh, that's probably one indication or um, a recurrent UTIs um, uh, possibly is another indication of just have a baseline kidney function. Yeah, um, indirectly as per the NICE guidelines, the UNE's serum creatinine plus EGFR is needed only if there is any clinical suspicion for renal impairment. Yeah. which indirectly means presence of like palpable bladder, nocturnal enuresis, recurrent UTI, or history of renal stones. So yeah. this is one area where you have gone for the bloods without any specific indication. Not a very big finding, but somebody may be very picky because of the NICE guidelines. The other thing is in the Abraham Griffiths number or the bladder, Outlet obstruction index in the y-axis, it is p -date at Qmax. You said p -date in y-axis, very small difference. And uh, yeah. bladder contractility index is p -date at Qmax plus 5 Qmax, not minus yeah. 5 Qmax. Oh, yeah, sorry, sorry. Yeah, very small things. Sometimes you may be thinking correctly, but while reproduction, it may come out instead of plus, minus, etc. But mm -hmm. they're all quite correctable, I'm sure. Once you present few times, uh, you will get into the correct group. Uh, any feedback from yourself? Uh, yeah, I just um, maybe like, uh, I mean, with, with practice, the pace will be a bit quicker. I didn't want to speak too quickly, but maybe mm -hmm. like uh, I can pick up the pace a bit and reach to the discussion of the medical, uh, I mean, the, 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 the medical therapy um, aspect of that discussion. Just maybe shorten my answer make it more specific and, uh, and and informative so I can progress quickly. Yeah. And I'm sure that hopefully will come with practice. Sure, definitely. Very good.